I live in Auckland, and Auckland is completely surrounded by volcanoes. I went to school on one, and some of my family will live in Wellington, which is often hit by earthquakes. And this got me wondering, which is safer? But to answer this, we have to learn more about both earthquakes and volcanoes. This is what we'll be doing on this explosive two-part series, starting with Auckland. It's time to get dangerous on this episode of Insight. <laughs> Among them, have to admit, I don't know a lot about volcanoes. So what we did is we went to an expert, who also happened to be a bit of a friend, to find out more. So my name is Kate Lewis Kennedy, and I'm a volcanist, volcanologist at the University of Auckland. And um, what else do you want to know? I come from the U.S. I've been here for nine years, and. Um, I do some work on the Auckland Volcanic Field. The Auckland Volcanic Field is an area around, that Auckland, the city of Auckland is built on top of that has more than 50 little volcanoes. <laughs> Rangitoto, which is behind us, is the biggest one by far. Um, and most of them are much smaller than that. So yeah, Rangitoto... You couldn't really call that one small, could you? No. Well, it's small... In the the grand (laughs) scheme of volcanoes, exactly. Um, And that's a characteristic of volcanic fields in general, and there are lots of them all over the world, is that each volcano erupts in a new place. So... Can you predict where the place is? And you cannot predict where the place is. Do we know about when? No. mm. We know almost. Yeeks. We know very little. (laughs) Yeah. We do not know where or when Hmm. the next volcano will be. It's likely to be, to not be anywhere where we already have a volcano. So, um, except for Rangitoto. So Rangitoto has has erupted twice, but every other volcano, as far as we know, has erupted only once. So basically everyone get on a volcano farthest away from Rangitoto as possible. (laughs) Well, we'll see. And is there anything specific that causes volcanic fields? Um, The thing that makes them different from a big volcanic center like Ruapehu is that the the source, so when the magma comes up, it it comes up in a different place each time. So there's a big big expanse of kind of mushy, really hot rock underneath us. Deep, like. deep, eighty to hundred kilometers deep, <laughs> and um, when a little blob of magma breaks up or breaks off, it comes up, and and yeah, we think down. that it comes up through faults or some kinds of cracks that are already in the ground, and that's um, and that that's what let you know, determines where it comes up. And there you have your volcano. And this is the thing that we have going for us in terms of knowing that the next volcano is going to erupt is that when the magma comes up through the crust, it 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 will push it'll be pushing its way through the rocks and it'll cause earthquakes is our mm, expectation. Like large earthquakes? Um probably not too large. But noticeable. So we would expect that the 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 earthquakes associated with magma coming through the crust at Auckland would be the least of the problems <laughs> compared to the eruption volcano. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I, they could be big enough to do a, maybe a tiny bit of damage in some places, but generally, no, the, earth, the earthquakes maybe aren't the problem. plate falls off the table do, somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And the good thing about the earthquakes is that they are the only thing we have that can warn us where and when the volcano might erupt. I should say the chance of a volcanic eruption in Auckland in our lifetimes is actually quite small. So it's, um, you know, we we don't give out, we don't say an exact, um, you know, a chance of this happening, but, but we think, you know, it's much, much, much more likely to happen over the next thousand years than it is to happen over the next 10 years. Thank you, Kate. Now I know more about volcanoes, understand that I don't have to worry about one erupting, and can just enjoy the beautiful view of Devonport. 
guess there must be an upside of having a volcanic field as your home. Thank you for watching this episode of Insight. In another episode, we will investigate Wellington and the earthquakes that they so commonly feel. But as a little bit of a teaser, I'll leave you with this. Wellington <laughs> could get a large earthquake at any time. Like, so it's it a, there's actually... It could be happening right now. It could. Yeah.